and welcome to Zoo La La. Today I want to find out how quickly a piranha could turn me into a skeleton. Guys, who came up with this one? With a mouth full of razor sharp teeth, the piranhas are perhaps the most notorious and terrifying fish in fresh water. But do they deserve their fearsome reputation? The name piranha comes from the Tupi Guarani Indian derivative, pira meaning fish and rana meaning teeth. In fact, it's meant to be pronounced piranha. Hang on. Pir piranha. Piranha. Piranha, the toothed fish. They range in size from a respectable six inches to some nearly two feet long, known as man eating piranhas. But I mean, are they really man eaters? Because they're hundreds of times smaller than the classics like the great white shark or the saltwater crocodile. Apparently, in 1913 in Brazil, Theodore Roosevelt witnessed a huge school of piranhas attack and strip a cow to the bone in just a few minutes. What makes these creatures so menacing is their deadly anatomy. An ultra-powerful, almost circular body provides agility and extreme speed in small, sharp bursts, so they can dart in and out of their prey, grabbing chunks of flesh before they even have a chance to react. They've got near-identical rows of triangular, razor-sharp teeth, and these teeth interlock with each other to create a formidable wall of blades. And the top row fits so perfectly into the bottom that they can slice off flesh like a pair of scissors. Even worse, their teeth are in a perpetual conveyor belt, with new teeth growing in from the sides to replace the old ones, so their teeth are literally as good as new. To top it off, their jaws are so strong they can chomp through the bones in your fingers or toes as easily as a bolt cutter. And gents, there are reports they can amputate something even more precious. One particularly aggressive species of piranha from Venezuela is known as the capoboro, or the donkey castrator. What's worse, you probably won't see them coming. Piranhas often inhabit murky and muddy rivers, so they rely less on their vision and more on their other senses. They have a little air-filled sac, their swim bladder, which attaches to their inner ear. It basically acts as an amplifier, turning the volume up underwater so they can hone in on the sound of their splashing prey. And it gets worse. These finned killers can detect the slightest scent in the water. Much of their brain power is dedicated to sense of smell, and some studies have shown that they can sniff out a single drop of blood in 200 litres of water. So if they found my blood, they could turn my flesh into a skeleton in minutes, right? Well, not really. These aggressive man-eating piranhas are actually a minority. Most eat fruit, plants, or invertebrates. Even the carnivorous ones are often scavengers. Many cases of supposed fatalities turn out to be people that have drowned and then been nibbled after death. Chris over in Earth Juice has swum with them and they completely ignored him. So, just how long will it take them to strip a bird and a fish to the bone? And more importantly, what does that mean for me? Let's start the stopwatch. Um, guys, here, yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. You can feed now. Hello? Oh, really? So, there you go. Even the nippiest of species, like the red-bellied piranha, are big softies when they don't like the look of something. Probably why they gave Chris a wide berth. In fact, piranhas can go weeks, even months, without eating. So if it doesn't feel right, they just wait till it does. So, crunching the numbers, if I was attacked by a large school of piranhas, I could be skeletonized in about the length of this video. On that horrifying note, if you've got any questions about fiendish fish or a malevolent man-eater, then just write it in the comment box below. Though, to be honest, I prefer one that doesn't calculate my own demise. See you next week on Zoo La La.